Hey, welcome, Gary Fortune on. I uh, want to be trying out the prime weld uh, back there and um, for the first time. Um, I brought my torch tip over here. And I'm going to use the kit they sent. I've got a sharp in the tungs, and, and I'm just going to try on a piece of scrap that um, I welded on when I was taking my class. And I uh, probably won't even feed any rod into it. I just want to see two things. I want to make sure it works and get used to it. Got my pedal down here on the floor and I uh, got my ground hooked up to the table. So um, I still got to turn on the argon and get the settings right. But uh, the other thing I have to check is when I hit the pedal last time, it really distorted the audio on the camera. So I don't know if it's the boom mic I've got or the or the camera itself. It's a DSLR camera. So, we'll experiment. Give it a try. So for right now, uh, I just set it on DC. I just put it on 150 for the base current. Um, I did my pre-flow and post-flow and everything else I've left off for right now. Well, these don't matter. They're AC only. Um, so I, until I figure these uh, settings out. I'm just going to start with that. And see, I put on 4T, but don't know how much I'll be get welding. I'll get done. So let me go hook up the torches. And yeah, one of these are this one's for uh, real small writing, says up to 1 16th, and this one is 2.4 or 3 30 seconds. Oh, and this CK torch is a flex hit, too. Unless you're getting in tight corners, you want your tip sticking out about the diameter of your cup or so, or less. I'm going to go with that. Let me go a little bit further out so I can see it. So I'm going to try this with the boom mic. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I had a set of 4T and I should have had a set of 2T. Made a big difference. But I'm getting a little better arc. I'm just going to now clean it. This is a stainless, stainless steel wire. I need to get some acetone. I don't have any acetone either. Like I said, I'm just going to go along and make a bead without adding filler to it. Yeah. I just sat there in one spot and burned a hole in it. So anyway, I I got the art going. Wasn't going a second ago.
like how it's looking. I haven't done any welding in over a year since I took my TIG welding class at night. But it's, it's got that kind of a rough sugary look to it. I'm thinking I need, I'm thinking I need more, um, maybe more argon. I'd like to get a bigger cup, but this is the number seven. That's the largest that came in the kit. If you know what's going on, make a comment in the below. I don't know what setting I'm off of here, but that's with a filler rod and it just doesn't look that good. And I didn't clean my filler rod because I don't have any acetone. I gotta get some acetone. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off. I have no idea if any of that even came out because of the audio. So this is with the boom mic. So now I'm gonna disconnect the boom mic and just use whatever audio is in the camera. Now this is what just the microphone built into the camera. I want to take a quick second and just say, hey, if you don't mind, uh, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Over 97% of my viewers are not subscribed, and it really helps the channel, helps me out. And if you can just you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be great. Like it, make comments, be wonderful. Uh, if you don't like it later on, you can always unsubscribe. But I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. So right out of the box with the TIG welder. Do 2T. Uh, the 4T says it's like four steps. And... I never had to do that. The person I took the welding class had the big, huge, you know, five, ten thousand dollar Lincolns and Millers TIG welding machines, and there was no two T, four T setting on them. You just set them up AC, DC, your settings, your pulse and balance, and you play, want to change if you needed to. So I don't know, you know, what makes it. It might be an inverter thing, since those probably were not inverter boxes. I know they weren't. And this is, I gotta turn that down, turn that off. I'm gonna turn the argon off and the welder off. I just wanna see what it do. So I'm gonna go up and probably order order some different cups. I wanna get a gas lens and a wider cup, like at least a number eight. And uh, this only goes up to seven uh, with the ceramic cups. I'm gonna get the glass one. And, but I wanna go out there and I'm probably like you're. Like me, you probably all watch uh, Welding Tips and Tricks with Jody. I think it's Jody. And he has at weldmogger.com with a TIG finger and all that stuff. And, and he's got the cups. I'm going to go order some cups off of him. I'm going to get the clear cup, number eight clear cup with the, with the gas lens. This one's got the little screen in it <clears throat> to diffuse the, the flow a little better. Uh, these just have the standard pilots and tips on them. I think I'm going to order the blue tipped um, tungstens so another thing to remember is uh, when you first hook it up purge out that all the air out of your gas line your argon line and uh, for your torch <clears throat> um, I just cranked them up I just cranked it back down when I turned it off but uh, cranked them up and just let them flow for a while it may not take long to purge I really don't know how long it takes for it to I got the 25 foot hose so I don't know how long it takes for it to go through the machine go all the way through the 25 foot hose and then get to the unit. So so do a little practicing on some scrap metal just until the argon gets there. That's about it. Uh, I got some things to do, some, some stuff to buy and get to go with this, uh, but then I should be set and we'll do some more welding later. This was uh, first try with the Prime Weld TIG 325 and checking out what's wrong with my mic when I'm welding. See if either way these worked or if I'm just going to be out of luck welding and videoing. So we'll see. Anyway, you all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.